seem to do nothing but travel at the moment. You know what, I'm pretty good at it, I quite enjoy that, so I can't moan too much. See if I can find just another light, light, little bit of light on a wall or a bin. How's that? That's not too bad. So yeah, I'm in Leeds this week. It's bank holiday weekend in the UK this weekend, so we've had some fun making some new food. Mm, the kebab didn't go so well. But the chicken's gone good. <laughs> My mum's currently watching Florence and the Machine at uh, Radio 1's big weekend, so I've stepped out before I cry myself to sleep. I'm playing around in the garden in the allotments today with my family. How incredibly British of me. I'm back this week with three great new records. I think one, three that I think you're gonna really enjoy. Yeah, three great new tracks, check them out. Every so often, a record comes along that is just so bizarre that I can't help but pay attention. Previous examples of this include Sorrow by Le, <laughs> Doe Deer by Crystal Castles, <laughs> Black Leather by Prayers, just like the seas of people come and go. And most recently, Is This What You Wanted by Happy Meal Limited. I, got a I think this record gets added to that list. Whilst I discover a large proportion of my music from radio and tastemakers, every source and I try and discover new music completely out of context, without someone trying to get me excited about it. A really good way to do this is by listening to the new music playlist on Apple Music. And whilst it isn't all good, in fact, most of it is pretty pants, there's no tastemaker or someone else getting me excited to listen to it, and you end up discovering music completely out of context. And this is one of those records that I discovered in my own means. It's a bit of a two-parter. Part one has a real new rave, French electro feel to it. The vocal style in particular reminds me a lot of Pogo by Digitalism. And the second part is just old school 80s electro goth. Kind of the cure meets Gary Newman, blended in with a little bit of misfits. Regardless, it's really catchy and I've been listening to it multiple times a day. This is Paranoic Intervals by Odd Montreal. Where do you even start with the analysis of this record? Quite simply, it's about one thing. Ashton Kutcher. Sweet! <laughs> what about mine? Dude, what does mine say? <laughs> Sweet! It has everything needed to make it a bit of an indie rock anthem. It progresses from a real simple song about a guy who's been punked because his girlfriend plays with his hair into a really wonderful record about heartbreak. Well, I still think it's actually about Ashton Kutcher, but it sounds like it's about heartbreak. The record is rife with great lyrics, but my favorite has to be, I'll take your t-shirt and put it in the wash, and when you go out in public, your fabric will be fucking soft. I'm not sure about you, but taking the word wash and rounding it with soft is a, a small stroke of genius. This is also a record that I discovered on the new music playlist and I have been listening to it ever since. This is Sports Team with their song Kutcher. I just wanted to be your Demi Moore. But they're not together anymore. I first came across Anderson, as many did, after Dr. Dre dropped his much-anticipated album in 2015. Such an unknown artist, Dre featured him on six songs. And whilst Dre has always been one of those that likes to feature new artists, six records is a lot. I then heard him do his solo stuff when Zane Lowe played his record The City. There's no need to wear these shades when I dress. Which samples the incredible Inside My Love by Minnie Ripperton. He then went on to release an incredibly successful debut album called Malibu in 2016. The same year he collaborated with fellow hip-hop producer Knowledge on their project No Worries. And in the same year featured on one of the best R&B records of the year, Mac Miller's Dang. It 
wasn't until I saw his tiny desk performance last year that I realised just how incredible he is. A true multi-instrumentalist. He plays the drums, he sings, he raps, he's a producer. The man has it all. And he's back with a brilliant new record. I will. That's weird. Come and do my little thing then. Can you give me like five minutes? You're just going to be dribbling while you're talking. Yeah. I know, right. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Club. I'm going to go. You can apologise to the YouTube. Sorry, YouTube. Yeah, bloody too, right. One of the many things I love about this record is the energy that it brings. It does this about bringing the, the trap sound that everyone else seems to be doing at the moment. The production is so slick and it sounds so new and different while sounding so incredibly familiar. The little horn sample that runs throughout the track is incredibly mischievous and the strings give it such a grandiose sound. So it's a, it's a song that definitely makes me wish I had Lamborghini doors on my Escalade. I'm not sure if this means there's a new album coming but if this song's anything to go by then it's going to be absolutely brilliant. This is Bubbling by Anderson Pack. One in the hand, one in the bag, bubbling. Look at the cash, look at the cash coming in. Come get your man, see a nigga bugging me. Just see the bag, quit out a jaw jacking me. So yeah, that's it, that's me done. I'm heading back tomorrow morning. Those are three great new tracks. Honestly, they are, at the moment, there is some seriously good music around. I'm finding it really hard to pick just three, but I've got to do it. That's the, that's the rules I set myself. Heading back to London and for a normal working week. Next week is an exciting one. I'm in Copenhagen, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. I'm sure I'll find three amazing new songs by then. So, yeah, enjoy. Cheers, bye.